actually, I really like one of the things I do to relax is I watch uh, Korean uh, food tubers. Oh, really? Because mm -hmm. a lot of them actually like have them translated into um, uh, English for uh, the subtitles. They actually mm -hmm. do that to capture a bigger audience. And boy, did they. Ooh, ooh, Jacob. Oh, well, you're not necessarily a huge cat person, but there's a Korean uh, cat channel that is very good. It's all cats. It's it's oh it's called um, Cream Heroes, and it's like a woman who lives with her nine cats. Oh and wow! She does not she doesn't appear on camera at all like her face. It's just her taking care of the cats and playing with them and all of their shenanigans and it's amazing. Yep. I folks, folks am are down with chat. that. Kitty Saurus is one yeah. of her other channels, and yeah. I'm down with that, and I am only performatively not a cat person. Oh, I okay. do love all animals, <laughs> and, and people can do whatever they like. Okay. Except for snakes. <laughs> well, snakes aren't people. No. They're snakes. No, they're not. <laughs> how, how did we get here? I... <laughs> this is what happens when we don't do spreadsheets. This yeah. is what happens when I drive the bus. Yeah. Odd pet opinion. Horses don't make good pets if you're in an apartment. True. Mm -hmm. Nah. Okay. Yep. Yep. Don't get a horse if you're in a two-bedroom walk-up. It's just not ethical. If you're on the first floor with no basement unit below you, maybe. I can see the case. Yeah. As long as I can get in and out the, the window, I suppose. Mm. It's just a horse <laughs> coming out like horses, a sliding door. Horses <laughs> can use doors. What if you have one of those horses with like a walkout, or one of those houses with a walkout basement? You just keep your horse downstairs and just come and go as it pleases. Ooh. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. free range horse. Mm -hmm. They've got some of those in mm -hmm. Fernwood. <laughs> if you've got a standalone house and not an apartment, then like, yeah, you can have a horse in the garage. Sure. That's what they're built for, right? That's true. And if you've got a really big house, you might have a two horse garage. Yeah. Ooh. There you go. Mm -hmm. They are social animals, so. Otherwise you got to take them to like horsey daycare. Like, it just oh, seems like a huge... <laughs> and you do not want to have to scoop and pick up after them. Mm -mm. Oh, no. You know those, like, big, you know, like the doggy bags that they have in parks sometimes? Like the horsey Trash bags. It's just like a, 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 like a hefty bag. The horsey daycare just has me picturing, like, horsey daycare road trips, you know? You know how every once in a while when you're out wandering around in the city and you'll encounter, like, a daycare group or, like, an elementary school class or whatever that's on a field trip? And it's just like the teacher at the front and then a whole line of long, tiny children. And sometimes a teacher in the middle for support, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, and then another one at the other end. It's that, but with horses. Yeah. So it's just oh. like, oh, it just like it just looks like a, a small equine parade. And they're all just looking at everything. Mm -hmm. poke, poking their heads in the stores as they go by. See, I thought you were talking about that with like, you know, still the kids, except in the end, you just... Mm. You know, triple them up and then load them in the back of a horse trailer to get mm, them to the next mm -hmm, destination. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have, I have a story about that later. Okay, we, we do have we do have challenges for Jacob's story time, but I presume you don't want to be actively eating. I mean, it'll be real messy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me just slug down some of the sandwich. Uh, yeah. And if you would like Jacob's story time, I am absolutely ready to go. There okay, have been yeah. many requests for Jacob's story time. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's do that once you're done eating. But we'll just continue to fill in for a moment here. Jacob, are you telling me you're going to tell us a funny story about a horse? <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> I do love a good horse joke. Uh. Also, hi, I'm back. Hi, no, Erica, I'm, what did you get for lunch? Uh, I got a falafel bowl uh, with jasmine rice and oh. greens and hummus, and now I'm very full of falafel, and I love it. Yum. All right. So in an effort to drum up donations, because that's what I'm here, I'm going to start making up a series of random bull, bull bus facts. Uh, look at me, I caught myself. Aren't you proud of me? I am proud of you. I'm, just, I'm gonna make up some, I'm gonna make up some fake facts that aren't real. And if you like any of these facts, you can throw in five dollars. I think, I think what we could do is like, 
Mm. Uh, ideally, like some sort of like, you know, sort of jazzy music is going over the stream and it's like, you know, me reading like a poetry recital, you know, speaking the truths of existence and all that, like cha 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 cha. Hey everybody, boom boom boom. Where's Serge? He used to, he had an RPG ba -doom, character ba -doom, that would make this little ba -doom, ba -doom, boom 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 music when he came. Are we still talking room. about horses? Oh, <laughs> oh perfect. Hey is, man, is let me spit some fourth truth at you. Okay. <laughs> All right. I heard I was needed. We've got horses. Hey everybody. Horses have to go to special horse dentists called horse dentists do 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 they're like regular dentists but they've got very long arms because horses have very big mouths one day people hope to invent a short-armed horse dentist but until that time they won't even let you into horse dentist school unless you're six foot two do 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 I don't know where these are going, by the way. Anybody else got some horse facts? Hey, horse, what do you want hey. to hear about? Uh, I was interested in learning a little bit more about myself, because this is this has so far been a very confusing experience. Um, I was expecting to have limbs, for one thing, and oh. uh, yeah, not so much. Well, fun fact about horses, do, 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 do. Did you know that horses don't, aren't typically born with limbs? They have to grow them, usually one oh. at a time. Oh, or no. sometimes, if a horse is pretty advanced, it might get two at once. Usually the two back legs, so it can sort of like push itself around and do the worm. Oh, but wait, pretty nope. soon, all yeah. its limbs will come in. And then it will I lose the back ones. I found the back ones. They're here. Oh, perfect. <laughs> then it will lose yeah. its baby limbs and get adult limbs when it's about six years old. <laughs> I'm once old? Hang on. After a horse has gotten its adult limbs, it's called a gelding. I, and then I don't think we can say that word on stream. And then after it's gone to gelding school, it can be associate. It can be promoted to associate vice gelding, and take a role on its uh, uh, its homeowners committee. The dean of the school is called the Gendolf. Really? <laughs> you know what you were getting into, man. You invited me here. People, people are maybe people, people aren't super pleased with horse facts. Maybe let's go on to something that's slightly less terrifying about horse facts. Did you know horses are native to the island of Bermuda? Do -do -do -do. The Bermudan seahorse, or as it's known for short, the borse, <laughs> is an aquatic <laughs> mammal. Obviously, because it's a horse that lives in water. Oh, here we are. We've got some cool horse music. Ah, those horse horses. Jazz. <laughs> horse jazz. Those horses, in addition to being accomplished jazz pianists, that's why the horses like jazz best, are also aquatic hunters. If you even scuba dive near a horse den in Bermuda, Aruba, wherever it's Bahama, ooh. Jamaica. Come on, pretty mama. <laughs> Key Largo, Montego, baby, why don't we go? Down to Away Kokomo. from these horses, because they will go at us with a spear gun if we go too close to them. <laughs> Down in Bermuda. Horses. <laughs> All right, what the parts else? to Kokomo in... that ended up on the cutting room floor. <laughs> in Bermuda, you're more likely to be bitten by a horse than a shark. <laughs> Seriously? That's because the horses there are so vicious. Yeah. They're, they're well known for their voracious appetite for scuba divers. What I'm sure all the horses out there really enjoy these bits. I don't Are know they... why we got saddled <laughs> with them, but I really want to hoof it out of here. Does it, does it go into whether or not the scuba divers taste good? Um, I think actually the reason horses crave scuba divers is that they are missing several key nutrients from their diets, such as um, rubber, taurine, um, cholesterol. What are what else are humans rich in? Various psychedelic drugs, depending on what's legal in your area. Ambition. Those horses just want to get stoned, really. <laughs> <laughs> 
And the easiest way to do it is for them to take a nip out of a scuba diver. Truly, nature is beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Real champion. Got my scuba that. diver right here. Ah. Uh, the salt from the scuba divers enhances the flavor, says Miss Pokey Cat. Very true. Mm, she's yeah. she's familiar with the 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 vicious killer of Reuben Borse. Really, uh, really, isn't the sea just one big marinade? <laughs> That's true. If you eat a scuba diver, they're already tenderized. You know, because they've been in a high pressure environment that makes the meat soft. Mm -hmm. <laughs> various Warm various water. sea minerals are soaking in. It's also why corporate drones are so delicious. Mm. Uh, let's see, what are some other horse facts? Moving on from these other horses. Um, horse, is there anything you've ever wanted to learn about? Um, I've, 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 really, I've really been wondering, but also afraid to ask what my lifespan is supposed to be. Oh. Like you wanna know, but you don't wanna know. Well, after <laughs> after you turn six and you have to join the subcommittee to get all four legs or whatever I said earlier, yeah. uh, then you have to go through horse puberty, which is three times as intense, but only half as long as normal horse puberty. And uh, what other kind of committee would a horse, would an aquatic horse have than a subcommittee? Ah! <laughs> Your unbridled enthusiasm for puns is really great. Look. Oh uh, my god! Can we get back on track and stop horsing around? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're just trying to spur some more horse facts. <laughs> Why did I get saddled with this? I should crew? just give you guys the reins for this bit, I think. <laughs> you can't just brush your responsibilities away. <laughs> oh, come on, Jacob. I think you'd be a shoe in. <laughs> mm, I know, but you're really the main person here. <laughs> Look, we can't let Kathleen tackle this all alone. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> Horses. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's just tack. Shoot, We're here. I messed mm. it up. Uh, I think we might, uh, to steal one from chat, I think we might be at the tail end of this bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's very warm in here. <laughs> All right, do they, does everybody else uh, feel like we're, eat, we're beating a dead horse? <laughs> All these great puns really made me say, whoa. So. Ah. <laughs> uh, Oh, there's I a really good one. I'm running out of horse puns. Yeah. <laughs> well, we do want. We, I, I, I saw this in chat. Uh, we do want people to pony up donations. No, so stop, if you want us stop. to stop, trot please, right on over and do. make a donation. <laughs> oh, uh, no. I have a new cat. I have a new cat in my yes. my arms reach, but Is I it... also have a bus, how so many... I can't cat. How many cats do you have, Carrie? Uh, you have three. I do. I have three cats. Three cats is what happens when you get a, you go to get a cat for your cat. You end up getting two cats, and then the first cat hates the two cats. It's what a mess! Oh, Andrew, not much. Andrew, hey. you missed the horse. Yeah, it was really good. Cool. The Ben Wheeler was here. No, <laughs> no, no uh. it was different, but <laughs> but equally as painful. Some would say. <laughs> so. I, I, I am legitimately embarrassed for how long we talked about horses before I remembered that that was over there. <laughs> <laughs> but in case anybody was curious, this is uh, a custom-built horse head in a horse costume uh, that complete with uh, award-winning garland down here. Is that for your godfather, LARP? <laughs> It's for an extremely sparkly Godfather LARP. Uh, no, this is the, uh, the work of my partner, Sandra, uh, who is an award-winning burlesque performer as Faye Havoc. Uh, and this is uh, part of the costume for her act, Horsin' Around, which she generously loaned to me, uh, which she and her partner, Donna Boss Rogers, won uh, the award for most comedic at the Burlesque Hall of Fame uh, in Las Vegas uh, back in 2019. Wow. So this nifty. is quite literally an award winning horse. <laughs> That's really neat. Yep. That's so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and take good care of it, but it is also very warm inside. 